Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Dragon City. So today is February 2nd, or no, it's February 3rd, 2014. So there's this new Sylvan Dragon, which was released a couple of days ago. It was actually released in January, I think around January 31st, or around February uh, 1st, 2014. It was just in the market, it showed up in the market. And basically, when I first saw it, I knew that they're going to do a discount on it. And that, you know, you, you can't breed it. So here it is. Finally, a couple of days later, they do a discount on it. I'm, I'm quite surprised that they leave these things for a couple of days before doing a discount. Because I guess uh, the people that want to buy it um, at full price or when it first gets released will have to do that when it's first released. So a couple of days later, or which is today, uh, here we are with the discount, which is 90% off, and usually these discount monster means that you can't breed it. I guess uh, when they first release it, people think you can breed it, so they go on um, you know, breeding it and spending gems. But anyways, here we are, and at 90% off, it's only 100 gems. Now, if you bought it at 1,000 gems, then um, I guess you got the monster first compared to everyone else. But here it is. We're just going to go into the menu. As you can see here, it says, Sylvan Dragons are guardians that keep dark shadows from the elven woods. And when I first saw this, I knew that it was going to be a special monster. It's going to be based on a movie or maybe some sort of concept. And... Continuing on, it says they are born and raised in the deeper parts of the forest where they are trained to be a light force of nature. Alright, so he holds a bow kind of thing. Green dragon. It kind of reminds me of, uh, I think, Lord of the Rings. And what was that guy with the arrow called? Or the Hobbit. What was the guy with the arrow called? All right, so I don't remember. So uh, remind me if you remember his name, but I remember his face. The thing is, I'm a really visual type of person. So, well, I think a lot of people are visual persons, right? If you see it, then you'll most likely remember it, but you can't remember exactly their name. Anyways, we're just gonna buy this so you can check it out. Uh, so there it is. We made that purchase. Here it is. Here is the egg. It has a cape over it. As you can see, 16 hours to hatch. We're going to fast that forward. And there it is. An element of war and nature. Now, so that means you can place it into any nature or war habitat. And war habitats are generally more expensive. So, uh... I would recommend placing it into a nature habitat as it's much less expensive so here it is so he's shooting arrows and stuff like that I think I, I pretty much guessed his animation for that but then again we want to see what it looks like in its adult form so we're just gonna level it up level it up and level it up alright we'll watch the stuff one more time let's level it up now wow there it is. All right, it looks like Robin Hood. It reminds me of Robin Hood. You know, you know they're playing the harps. Actually, yeah, it reminds me of Robin Hood now. All right, so it has like a hoodie, uh, a cape, I believe, and he's he's playing a harp. He has a knife. Well, I think it's a knife. The thing is, the knife being on the side, how would the dragon take it out? Actually, how did he even put it there? Anyways, so it has like a bunch of gold uh, stuff gauntlets and has a golden tail, but it's still really green. So let's just level it up some more and just check out its adult form. We'll level up one more time and there it is. Wow. Okay, this is simply one of the most amazing dragons. I like the gold. It looks so royal. Um, it looks so, I don't know, cool. You know when you when you see everything is filled with gold, it, it just looks so cool. And he has a knife now or a sword rather. I'm not sure if it's a knife or a sword, 
But as you can see, I guess that's how he pulls it pulls out his sword, right? So it, it has like a golden type of helmet too, and it's a really big dragon. Let's dive out of there. Actually, yeah, it's quite big. All right, so here it is. Uh, what we're gonna do is level it up some more, and then we're gonna go into the training center. All right, so we're ready to go into the training center now. Let's just collect our daily food. Uh, there it is. All right, training center. Level 15, an element of war and nature is what we're looking for. Hopefully, ah, there it is. All right, so this is a really cool dragon. We're going to look at the first attack, I guess. Oh, wow, well, th that's all it does. You know, I really kind of wish that it had, like, a much more cooler animation. Maybe do, like, a super sword swing. That would be really cool. Actually, they could have placed the animation that was uh, on level 3, or I guess the adult form, into battle animation. That would have been cool. And they, they could have made another animation for the adult form. But anyways, um, here it is. Uh... It has the skills of the sword attack, astral hit, uh, beehive, and some sort of fist or war fist or other. It's trainable skills. All right, so this is the trainable skill. His general skill, or I guess, I guess the skill that comes with this dragon is headbutt, leaf blast, judo kick, giant crack. All right. That's pretty much it. I guess um, we'll come back with another battle video because one of my uh, my Colosseum, I believe, I just used up. Anyways, that is all, and that's basically what it does for the animation. It kind of just moves forward. So we'll look at it again just because I didn't kind of uh, let you know. So here it is. It just kind of moves over. It's not much of a difference between other dragons.